In this video, we will cover algebraic expressions, a topic covered in class 8 math. Okay, moving on. Let's understand what an expression is to begin with. An expression is nothing but a combination of variables and constants of one or more terms. And what does that mean? So let's that's better understood with an example. Like you see on the right side, we have an expression 4x squared minus 5y plus 10. It has three terms. The terms being 4x squared being the first term, minus 5y being the second term, and plus 10 being the third term. And a term is nothing but a part of the expression that is separated by the plus or minus signs. So 4x squared minus 5y and plus 10. These become the three terms of the expression 4x squared minus 5y plus 10. For instance, if you had an expression of the form a minus 4b plus 5c, then a would be one term, minus 4b would be the second term, and plus 5c would be the third term. Easy enough. Digging in further, we need to understand what a coefficient is, what are like terms, and what are constants. Let's look at this expression here. 4x squared minus 5y plus 2ab minus 4ba and minus 10. So again, we have five terms, right? 4x squared minus 5y plus 2ab minus 4ba minus 10. So in this example, the coefficients would be 4 minus 5 plus 2 and minus 4. Let's take a look at what like terms are. Like terms are the terms with the same variables raised to the same power. Now here, which are the same variables raised to the same power? We see a, b, and b, a, right? These are the same variables and they are raised to the same power. a is raised to the power 1, b is raised to the power 1. Same goes here, b is raised to the power 1 and a is raised to the power 1. That makes 2ab and minus 4ba like terms. And constants are nothing but terms without any variables associated with them. So minus 10 becomes a constant in this scenario. Now let's understand different types of algebraic expressions. We have what are called monomials, binomials, trinomials, polynomials. Sounds pretty easy based on the name of each because mono means one, bi means two, tri corresponds to three, poly corresponds to multiple, right? So in the similar fashion, the description is also uh, associated with the same meaning. So monomial means an algebraic expression comprising of one non-zero term, for example, 7a is an example of a monomial. 3x squared is an example of a monomial because it com each comprises of one non-zero term. Similarly, a binomial consists of two non-zero terms. Same way we have 7 plus 5b, 3x minus 4xy cubed each consists of two terms, right? Two non-zero terms. 7 being one of them, 5b being the second term in the first expression. The second expression we have 3x being the first term and minus 4xy cubed being the second term. A trinomial comprises of three non-zero terms. So in this example, these two examples consist of three terms that makes each of them a trinomial and a polynomial consists of one two or more non-zero terms so a monomial is a, also a polynomial a binomial is also considered a polynomial and a trinomial is also considered a subset of a polynomial so in this example 3x squared would be a polynomial 3x minus 4xy cube would be considered a polynomial all of these would be considered polynomial because 
by definition, a polynomial consists of one, two, or more non-zero terms. All right, moving on. Now let's take a look at how we add and subtract polynomials. Let's take a look at the example given here. We're trying to add two expressions here, 4x cubed plus 4, 5y minus 10, and 5x squared y minus 15 minus 6x cubed minus 2y. So it, what we have to do here is that we add the, or we group the like terms together. Now in each of these expressions, we figure out which are the like terms, right? We notice that 4x cubed and minus 6x cubed are like terms. Similarly, 5y and minus 2y are like terms. So we group them together and then we form the addition. That gives us the result which is minus 2x cubed plus 5x square y plus 3y minus 25. Similarly, we have a little variation in the question here where we've been asked what must be subtracted from 5x minus 6x cubed minus 10 to give this result which is 4x cubed plus 12. So it's nothing but saying what must be subtracted from a if you consider this to be a to give c. So it's nothing but saying a minus b equals c so what is b right so b becomes a minus c so if this was a and this was c we subtract 4x cubed plus 12 from minus uh, from 5x minus 6x cubed minus 10 so of course we change the signs of uh, 4x cubed plus 12 that makes it minus 4x cubed minus 12 and that's the result which is minus 10x cubed minus 5x minus 22 and that's the answer now moving on let's take a look at how to multiply polynomials so we have an uh, example given here 4a minus 1 times minus 2a plus 7 so what we have to do is we take each term of the first expression and we multiply it with each term of the second expression. So we take 4a and multiply it with minus 2a plus 7 and then the second, second term which is minus 1 and multiply it with minus 2a plus 7. So that's how we open the brackets solve them that gives us minus 80 square because 4a times minus 2a is minus 80 square and then plus 28a plus 2a because minus 1 minus 2a gives us plus 2a minus 7 and that's the answer which is minus 8a square plus 30a minus 7. Here's another example we've been given the base and height of a triangle in terms of expressions as minus 4x plus y and x minus 3y. Applying the formula for a triangle which is half base times a height, we inject in the expressions that we've been provided. We simplify it to get this answer um, which is nothing but half times uh, multiplying the each of the terms of the first expression with uh, the second expression and that gives your area in square units easy enough and then last but not the least we look at how to divide polynomials so one thing you need to remember is that when we divide terms with the same basis we subtract the exponents if you haven't seen one of my other videos you may want to take a look at it which talks more about about x powers and exponents and that will come in handy for this particular slide okay so we have to simplify this expression here which is 40 a square b minus 16 a b square plus 24 a cube b cube which is the expression and they've asked us to divide it by 8 a b so what we have to do is when you are sub uh, dividing two expressions and dividing an expression by one term that term gets divided by each of um, 
the uh, uh, associated terms of uh, the numerator so it becomes 40 a square b divided by 8 a b minus 16 a b square minus 8 a uh, divided by 8 a b plus 24 a cube b cube divided by 8 a b and then now when you divide a square b divide by a b that is nothing but um, b and b cancel out a square divided by a gives us a that gives us 5a because 40 divided by 8 is 5 16 by 8 is 2 ab squared divided by ab gives us b and then 24 a cube b cube divided by 8ab is nothing but 24 by 8 is 3 a cube by a is a 3a raised to the power 3 minus 1 by applying this uh, rule where we subtract the exponents and that gives your final answer which is 5a minus 2b plus 3a square b square that's it folks uh, keep on uh, solving ex additional examples and you will be an expert at polynomials as well please subscribe to my channel and keep watching and sharing and liking these videos appreciate your inputs and thoughts and comments thanks so much see you soon